Would you like to take code that goes from this to this? Defining so many class properties is one of the many reasons I had trouble learning Magento 2. I just didn't understand that I needed to write all of these properties to do something so simple. Well, this all changes with Magento 244 and PHP 8 with a new feature called Constructor Property Promotion. Let's learn about CPP. <laughs> Here is a plugin for my disable two-factor auth module, which automatically disables two-factor auth in the admin if developer mode is enabled. In this case, I needed to get access to the scope config and state of the application. Magento uses these constructor arguments to create instances of these objects in a process called dependency injection. I'll chat a bit more about DI in another video, but these objects created with DI need to be stored within class properties so that they can be later accessed in other areas of our code. Class properties must also have a visibility defined, otherwise it defaults to public. This visibility controls what other classes have access to these properties. This includes files such as class overrides or other classes importing this class. Now that we know how Magento uses these constructor arguments with class properties, let's see how PHP 8's constructor property promotion can greatly simplify this code. Rather than defining class properties at the top of the file with their visibility, we can completely remove these props up here and define them entirely within the constructor. Since constructor property promotion automatically assigns the values to class properties with the same name, we can also remove the assignments within the constructor. There's also another way to do this in PHP Storm. If you like this video so far, remember to tap that like button and subscribe to my channel. This tells me that you'd like me to create more videos just like this. My disable two-factor auth module is written in PHP 7.3 syntax in order to be backwards compatible with older versions of Magento. However, if I define the type on the property as PHP Storm suggests to implement, on both the scope config interface and this state prop, we now have access to a special context menu within the constructor. When on one of these constructor variables, if you type option enter or alt enter on windows, you'll see a new convert to promoted property option. Selecting this option will remove both the property definition at the top of this class, as well as the assignment within the constructor. So instead of needing to do this manually, this context shortcut takes care of it for us. Super cool. Note that you can also mix and match promoted properties with non-promoted properties. I wouldn't recommend doing this though, unless you had a very specific need or purpose, as it can be confusing to follow along with mismatched property assignments. It's also worth mentioning that promoted properties only work within constructors, so you can't define these properties in subsequent functions of your class. You also have immediate access to these promoted properties within the constructor body as the property assignment happens before the body of the constructor is executed. This means that we can call the app state property within the constructor body just like this. If you'd like to learn some other PHP Storm tricks, you can check out my free mini course called Obscure PHP Storm Hacks at M Academy. The link should be somewhere up there. And until next time, keep coding.